Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Welcome to Deborah's Journey. My name is Deborah, and I want to thank you all for joining me. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing or just stopping by watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. Today, I thought I would do a visual by showing my face, and my background represents my home state, California. That's actually the Golden Gate Bridge. It's in Northern California. And although I live in Southern California, it is still near and dear to my heart to go visit um, San Francisco quite often. And I love looking at this bridge. So for visual purposes, I hope you enjoy it. And let's get into this October budget. So I am going to be budgeting um, eight, $1,848, that is what I set to budget. So I wanna see if we are going to stay on track for October. And then when I finish, I will be sharing my November budget. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me lately. All of you who have recently subscribed, you watch my videos. And for those who are playing my playlist, watching my videos and doing that so I can get watch hours, thank you so much. I just want to send a huge thank you to all of you for going above and beyond and doing that for me. I appreciate you so much. Okay, so for my fixed expenses, so for housing, I budgeted 1900, but I actually spent $1,887.65. And so that was a $12.35 difference. For car insurance, budget 126, and I actually spent 126.83. Spectrum internet, budget at 75, that's what I paid. Life insurance, budget at 50, paid 47.66. Direct TV is a streaming TV service, budget at 75, that's what I paid. Medical insurance, guys, I have some great news. I do not have to pay for the medical. That was definitely an error on my part. So that is at zero. And so, yes, that's a huge chunk of money that I do not have to put um, up for medical. I'm actually very thrilled with that. So I can use those dollars to do something else. So that is a big, huge win. Okay, cell phone for my son. He does pay for his own phone. He pays me. And then I use my card to make his payment. So I'm budgeting $65 or a budget of 55 paid 65. So that's a $10 difference. And then my cell phones, I should change that. I have two phones, uh, budgeted 137. And I actually spent 139.20. So $2.20 difference for that total fixed expenses. I budgeted $2,988 and I actually spent $2,416.34. And that's because mainly I didn't have to pay the medical or that would have been probably spot on or a few dollars off. Let's go to the variable expenses. So for my variable expenses, I budgeted 500 for groceries and I actually spent $490.27. That's a $9.73 savings. Or, um, and actually when I have a savings that small, I roll it over for the next time I do my grocery shopping. Okay, personal, 125, but I actually ended up giving myself 140. That's a $15 difference. Gas, I budgeted 425 and I paid 483.61. That was over by $58.61. Gas is still very expensive here in California. And even though it's going down a little bit, um, the other day, I, my gas tank said $72 when I finished filling it up. So it's still, in my opinion, not affordable. Uh, but right now, I'm going to keep it at that amount. For this month, there's a couple of holidays. So I'm hoping uh, there won't be as much driving. So we'll see. Fast track budget 40, that's what I spent. Subscription, I didn't know what I was going to be paying. 
I paid $47.67, but that is a three-month supply. So um, hopefully it won't be as high in the future. Yard maintenance, I budgeted $85. I did not get around to doing that. Birthday gifts. So I had two birthdays. I budgeted $250. I had my son's birthday and a cousin's birthday. And so that was $260 is what I paid. Um, he had a surprise birthday party. And then, of course, my son, I just gave him some cash. Okay. And then giveaway. I budgeted $255, but I actually only paid out $230. And that's because somebody didn't have one of the payment providers that was required um, to collect the payment. So because of that, she forfeited her price. So that's a $25 savings. And then my buffer, I budgeted $400. I actually spent $452.67. So let's head over and look at this buffer and see where this funds went. So for beauty and hair, I spent Sixty-five twenty-four. Chef to the Bone is a restaurant. Thirty-four forty-two. Postal Annex. I did get a PO box, so yes, um, I believe it's a three-month term, and it was prorated, so it may be a little more the next time it renews. But I do have additional funds saved for that purpose. Fish Grill fifty-three thirteen. Copper Links twenty-three. Jack in a Box sixteen fifty-one. Hopefully, a local twenty dollars. Two cents, Coles forty one seventy five, In and Out Burgers ten ninety three, Starbucks eight seventy, Canes twenty nine seventeen, Taco Bell nineteen forty two, Copper Link seventeen eighty eight, and I paid a parking fee, um, but it was really a gas because I was helping a family member with transportation, and so I paid them twenty dollars. So total for my buffer, $452.67. So I budgeted $2,080 from a variable, and I actually spent $2,144.22. That's a $64.22 difference. Debt. Discover card, I budgeted $150, that's, and I paid $175. That's a $25 difference. Sam's Club budgeted two fifty, paid two fifty, our payment five fifty, and that's what I paid. Legacy is just a subscription. I don't know if it should really be in debt, but it's on one of my credit cards. Uh, but it's only eight dollars, and it was paid. My student loan I budgeted eleven $1 hundred. I paid one thousand three hundred forty. That's a two hundred and forty dollar difference, and those savings challenges do work. If you save them and use them for payments and debt, they will help boost your payment. And then the personal loan, $302.30, and that is what I paid. So for my debt, I budgeted $2,360.30, and I actually put $2,625.30 towards debt. So that's a $265 uh, increase and for debt, that's a good thing. Okay, investments. So for Vanguard, I budgeted 25, actually put 25. SoFi, 25, actually put 25. Investing, Fidelity uh, was 25. That's what I put in there. And then M1, 50, I put 50 towards that account. And then my Roth was $200, same thing. So it was on the money for my investments. I budgeted $325, and that is what I paid. Okay, so for savings, I budgeted $200 for savings, and that's what I actually paid. I budgeted $275 for my challenges. I put $295 in that account, and well, various accounts, and that's a $20 difference. Envelope challenge, $45, actually put $50. $5 difference, and then my urgency goals, 75, actually put 90. So I budgeted 595. I put 635 towards savings. That's a $40 difference, and a $40 increase to savings is excellent. 
So that was something I'm very happy for. And then my sinking funds, budgeted 500, I actually put 660. That's a $160 increase. And that's because I had money since I thought I was having to pay more for medical. And so I was able to use that money and put more towards my savings and sinking funds. So for the month of October, I budgeted 8,848.30 and drum roll, I actually spent $8,805.86 and that's a $42.44 decrease. So it has been a long time since I was under budget. I don't even know when, but I'm so happy for the progress and I'm happy for being a little more in tune and accurate with my numbers. So yes to saving and yes to being within my budget for the month of October. Okay, guys, so let's move on to the month of November. Okay, so for November, I am going to be budgeting 9,004 payroll, sinking funds, challenges and extra, and for my rollover 100. So total income on budgeting $9,100. Okay, so for my fixed expenses, uh, for housing utilities, $1,874, car insurance, $120,683. I did add a new line, and that's tithes and offering. And because I do pay those items, I am going to put them here. However, I will not be sharing or disclosing that because it's private and I don't share how much money I give. For Spectrum, I budgeted 75 for life insurance, 47.55, direct TV, 75, my son's sale, 65, and then mine, 144.50. So total fixed expenses, $2,407.88. My variable expenses for groceries, I'm going to go up a little bit. It is Thanksgiving, that will mean I have to do some more shopping because we're going to have a big family meal. So I'm budgeting $525, personal budgeting $125, gasoline, going to stick with the $425, Christmas. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. Now that I have, uh, I would say about 70% or 80% of my Christmas budget, already saved, I do have enough money to start some shopping. So I'm going to do that and set it aside just so I'll have it in case I want to get started. Car maintenance. So I hope everybody is investing in a car maintenance sinking fund. I really do because everyone who drives and if you have a car, you're going to have maintenance you're going to need tires. You're going to need oil changes. You're going to need um, just car repairs in general. And you're going to need things for those unexpected things that happen. You're going to need money for that. And I had a rock hit my window. And I thought it was just a little pop sound. Um, when I got home that day, I saw a um, crack. It looked like the size of a quarter. And it was sort of like a spider shape with different veins of cracks. And it was not big. So I thought, okay, maybe I can go get it repaired and, and get that windshield repair. However, the next day when I left work, one of those veins on there was already about 12 inches long. So just that quick, the crack spread. So I don't know what happened, but anyway, I am budgeting $500 just in case I am going to have to pay that much. I'm hoping I don't, but I'm going to leave it because I know getting a new windshield is a lot of money. I'm going to go through my insurance company, so we'll see what happens, but I still have to pay my de deductible, so I don't know, but fingers crossed it won't be so much. Prescriptions, I don't think I need to spend any money on that. Uh, Fast Track 40. And then my giveaway. I am going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. 
I'm working on all the details. So just know I'm working on it. And I want to have a very nice 1,000 subscriber giveaway. That is my goal. And so $300 has been set aside. I'm setting aside 80 for grooming. And then my buffer, the usual $425. So my variable expenses, $2,620. For debt, I'm budgeting $150 for Discover, Sam's $250. My car payment, $550. My student loan, $1,025. Personal loan, $302.30. And so total debt, $2,200. $77.30. So that is how much I'm budgeting for debt. Investments, I'm going to be budgeting $50 for Vanguard, SoFi, Fidelity, $25, my M1, $100, my Roth, $200. So total investing, $400. And then savings, $250. My challenges, $350. My envelope challenge, $75. My urgency goal is seven, um, 120, and that's a total of 795 for my savings and my sinking funds, budgeting $600. So all in all, my budget for November, I am budgeting $9,100.18 for the month of November. So I hope everybody has a wonderful November. If you celebrate Veterans Day, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, and even if you don't, we always have a reason to be thankful for something. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you for supporting me, grateful for my family, my friends, and to have food on the table, a roof over my head. This is the time to be thankful. So I wanna just continue to thank you all. I appreciate you for supporting my channel and I appreciate you for all that you do. Thank you. Have a wonderful month. I hope you stay within budget and I hope you have a pleasant holiday season. I, I would say the precursor to the holiday season. Let's get started and start enjoying this time of year. Okay, everybody. Well, it's about time to wrap it up. So I will see you all later. Catch you in my next video. Bye.